Have you heard of hoop? H U U P E. Is this the future of basketball? A pair of guys who are taking a technological twist to a classic piece of childhood equipment. There's on demand training to help you play better. I'm two years older, so when I went to school, I went to college in Boston. Lathan and I stayed in touch by playing basketball on Snapchat. And then just through the Snapchat, we're like, there should be an easier way for us to play sports remotely. And within 24 hours, we had a business pad and sketches planned. And then within 30 days, we had a video and a prototype. I'm Paul Anton. And I'm Late Saeed. We're the founders of Boop. And this is my hustle. This all started, Paul was away for school. We, me and him stayed in touch by playing basketball and Snapchat. I recorded Sean on my phone, sent it from Boston to Milwaukee. He sent one back. We'd play oars, free throw contests three-point contest, and we figured out a way to play against each other from a thousand miles away. I ended up going to law school several years later and creating an app on augmented reality glasses, and he played my game and said, hey, that's pretty cool, but what if we took your game and put a screen on a backboard? My jaw dropped. I knew that was the golden idea. We stopped everything we were doing, and we started working on Hoop in 2009, David. But the idea kind of hit me immediately in my head for the screen on the backboard, and immediately we both started working. I quit my job the following day, uh, Paul had the whole plan for what we we're going to do and uh, we started basically bootstrapping the company from the ground up with our own money and then one iteration of the prototype to the next and we ended up doing six iterations of their prototype after that. Hey Aristotle, how you doing? Hey, the demand and the orders are all, like it's, it's going off the charts. It's a good problem to have, but you guys have to make sure we're managing this because in the end, as much as we are engineers, manufacturers, we're also deliver concierge of delivering good products. Over communicate, make sure people understand they'll get behind this. They know it's a startup. All right, Absolutely. we got it. You're right, man. We'll do it. You're right? We got all it. Right. Right. Let's get back to it. Let's go. All, right. all right. Thanks, Thanks Aristotle. We'll talk soon. Take care. So we bought this truck for a thousand bucks, had to fix a couple things on it, but it's gotten us across the country from east coast to west coast. We use it for installations, transportation of hoops, and uh, it's been our hotel on the way. Taking the hoop to five, six different states already, which has uh, been incredible to see like how people are receiving our product, especially being the first of its kind. It's something that's never been done before. Yo, let's go, we got 10 minutes. All right. So we'd have hoops stacked up against the wall here, the poles and arms here. Lathan and I would usually sleep here back to back and uh, scooters here to go get coffee in the morning. You know, going from sleeping in this trailer to showering up at a gym and then just hopping in a crazy boardroom with, you know, some big names in business is, is incredible. The contrast is just crazy. We're, we're about to go to Boxer Gym right now, show you guys our, uh, our production ready unit. We collect data from all our players that are playing on our hoop all day, which has been incredible and the feedback has been crazy. So I remember the first time I spoke to you on the phone and you were like, look, I got the first hoop ever, you know, ever in a facility worldwide. Every single person that's walked in there and used the hoop have walked out and go, damn, I would love one of these in my house. You, you inspired a lot of people, you know, especially my members and, and, you know, they're coming in on a daily and they use that hoop and they're just like c continuously getting a workout from it. They're challenging themselves more. Some NBA players are coming through now. And I'm very honored to have the hoop here to be the first, you know, ever in a facility worldwide. So I appreciate you guys a lot, you know. This is Hoop's mobile app. At gyms, we'll use an iPad. At home, we'll just use your phone. It's super easy. It's all about three main things. Gaming, training, and streaming. So you can play games, play against people from all over the world. See how you stack up on the worldwide leaderboard. We got training right from your driveway. We have a shooting drill going on right now. A little tracker score on the left. And then stream anything. Stream your favorite music right from your driveway. It tracks everything you do in the background. Follow us to practice step backs. Just pick it right here, start training. We'll count down here, count down there, and it'll give you an explanation of the workout right on the backboard and where you stack up on the leaderboard. When we first started, we said we're not gonna say no to any opportunities. We got invited to NFT New York 10 days before it started. And they said, hey, can you guys bring a hoop to New York? Can you put it on the back of a fruit truck? 
and can you guys do demos across the city? And within 10 days, I asked my dad if it was possible, and he said, yeah. We hadn't built a portable base yet. We had to go find steel. We found some steel from a scrapyard, built a portable base, and uh, 10 days later, we were in Manhattan driving through, making a scene. Mind you, we had no permits. We didn't really have any permission to do what we did, but we just did it anyway. It's part of our marketing style, so uh, just seeing all the reactions of people playing on the hook was incredible. My daily hustle is pitching everybody all the time. Every person I talk to, the, the, the barista at Starbucks, the, the guy who's pumping the gas at the, at the gas station, I'm showing them our Instagram, I'm showing them our YouTube. We literally pitch everybody all the time. Every day is not a smooth day, but we do everything periodically throughout the day. There's no certain hours that we're working. We're working all day, every day. We're never not at work. Weekends, we're at work. We're at work all the time. So that's really what the schedule looks like. We're looking at 1,000 to 2,000 units next year, so for us, that's a big, big deal. And we're gonna go meet our manufacturers once again. So we haven't spared any dollar in terms of the best compute units, the best cameras, the best net, the best rim, because we want this to be something really volatile. We're building this for us. It's something we want to be proud of that we're gonna use on a daily basis.